Good evening. Today we picked up just over one one hundredth of an inch of precip, so just enough to bring in some cooler weather for the weekend. Throwing it now off to a look to the west, we can see that those clouds are starting to clear up throughout the area. Now here's a look at that satellite and radar composite. Those showers and thunderstorms sweeping through Missouri, causing a bit more trouble towards St. Louis and down in the boot heel, but more sunshine is about to work its way into the area, bringing for tonight and on into tomorrow some much chillier and much more fall-like temperatures. I'll have more on this, though, coming up later on in the broadcast. Robert, back to you with the news. And we brought in some much-needed rainfall today, but cooler temperatures are going to be in store for your weekend. More on that, though, coming up. First, though, here's a look at your almanac. Total Sleep Source. Welcome back. We're going to start you off with a look at your almanac. Now, normally this time of the year, we're hitting an afternoon high of 82 degrees and waking up to that low of 58. The main story for us today, though, was that precip picking up just over one one hundredth or one tenth of an inch rather of precipitation, which brings us up for the month at 1.44 inches. Today, though, we reached that high of 81 degrees and woke up a bit on the warm side thanks to all of those morning clouds and once again picking up 14 one hundredths of an inch here in St. Joseph this evening. Now, as we can see with a look off to the west, clouds are already starting to clear out, leaving behind a current temperature of 58 degrees. Now, we're still pretty close to that dew point of 53, so humidity sitting at 83%, so still supporting some of those clouds. Barometers on the rise, though, as high pressure creeps into the area and winds shifting over to the north-northwest at three miles per hour, staying light but pumping in some cooler air for us. St. Joseph, one of the coolest places on the map, into some upper 50s. Upper 50s and mid-60s continue to be the trend, though, throughout the state of Missouri. Satellite and radar shows that those showers and thunderstorms have pushed their way well off to our south and east. Once again, here's a closer look at that as those showers and thunderstorms have continued to push their way off past St. Louis and down into the boot heel, leaving behind just a few clouds for us. Now, those were due to this passing cold front continued to push its way down out of the Midwest by the end of the weekend, leaving behind, though, for some room for this big blue H that's high pressure working to clear up the sky for us and bring in plenty of sunshine and temperatures that are going to be below normal as we start off your work week. Now tomorrow, this big golden bubble indicating some nicer weather, sunshine and cooler temperatures. In fact, feeling a bit more like fall out there. Now that cooler weather is going to start tonight. 48 degrees is that overnight low. Clouds already on the decrease and winds shifting over to the north, pumping in some cooler Canadian air. A bit on the strong side though, alternating between 5 and 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow though, staying below average as well, 77 degrees for that afternoon high. Plenty of sunshine out there for us. Winds from the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for your work week, check out some of these numbers. We're going to have sunshine on into the weekend and the first half of your work week. Clouds, though, building in Wednesday, bringing along a chance for some showers and thunderstorms into your Thursday. But especially pay attention to these low numbers. We have upper 40s for tonight and tomorrow night and low temperatures into the 50s as we're starting off your work week. So you might want to throw on a jacket if you're headed outside. Yeah, but those low 80s look more inviting than this past week, which was 90s, a little bit. You know, that, that hot temperature is still hanging around with us, but it's still nice to see some cooler temperatures coming. Yes, it is. It's starting to feel a lot more like fallout. So we got a little bit of rain kind of the early this morning, uh, probably in the afternoon, but nothing that really kind of stayed around. Are we going to get any more soon? No, it looks like we're going to be staying dry, but to counter that, we do have some cooler weather in store. In fact, tonight only getting into some upper 40s, so you may have to shake the dust off of those jackets because it's going to be feeling quite chilly out there, more fall-like than the summer-like temperatures that we were used to. I guess it's good we're not getting rain because you think about like the frost on the windshield and I'm not ready for that. One. Oh, exactly. Not quite cold enough for the frost, <laughs> but we're starting to work our way toward that. In fact, it's starting to flirt more with some of those low temperatures and record lows, which are only into some low 40s. In fact, it's March, three degrees away from that record low. All right, still a nice beginning to the work week next week. Absolutely plenty of sunshine for us, so bring along your sunglasses. All right, well, thanks for watching.